Well, the leading cause of lung cancer among non-smokers is radon, and that threat is literally radiating from right beneath our feet in Kentuckyana into our homes, our workplaces, and as we first reported in a focus investigation last fall, our schools. Yeah, tonight John Charlton has a new update on his year-long investigation, a push to make school radon testing no longer an elective, but a requisite. Since we started asking questions about the lack of radon testing in schools, both Kentucky and Indiana have passed new laws strengthening radon requirements. Small steps, but important ones, according to an expert who's now trying to take a big step to clear the air of radon in schools. With summer recess over and kids back to school, the first lesson of the year, student teachers and staff safety. That's the foundation for education at Anchorage Independent School, especially due to the building's foundation. Part of it's exposed above ground and some of it's below ground. Certain areas below happen to be above a safe level for radon. Therefore, the two new systems to clear the air, at least enough of it, of the naturally occurring radioactive gas. We're acting on 2.0, but that's out of an abundance of caution. A 4.0 is a perfect GPA, but in schools, homes, or any building, that's a bad grade for radon which needs improvement according to the Environmental Protection Agency. There's no reason for our children and our teachers to be exposed to a Class A human carcinogen. Kyle Hoyleman. I'm with the Kentucky Association of Radon Professionals as its president. Is the owner and operator of Protect Environmental, which specializes in radon testing and mitigation. We just simply don't know. Uh, if, if uh, a radon problem exists or not, because we're not testing. Hoyleman is trying to change that in schools in both Kentucky and Indiana. In Kentucky, he's working on a bill. We're looking for a sponsor, yes. To include in all required school testing, radon testing. If I were to give a grade uh, to Kentucky schools for radon, it would be an F. In Jefferson County, for example, radon is widespread. Hoyleman says 60% of all buildings, schools included, have a radon problem, a potential lung cancer causing problem. Jefferson County Public Schools reported to Focus that it hasn't tested in 26 years. And even if the numbers were okay then, does that make them okay now? No. The EPA recommendation is to test one time every five years. Recommendations are not requirements, but Hoyleman knows a bill will likely fail if there's no plan to help schools cover the costs of testing and fixing. We've been told is there are other things going on that are um, uh, maybe even more important, like active school uh, shooter training. Well, sure, that's important. But right now we have a silent killer running up and down our halls, hallways in some of these schools, and it's radon. And we're not doing anything to fund that. Let's find the funds. Kyle Hoyleman says that funding could come in the form of grants. He points out that doing nothing now could cost taxpayers a lot more later on, since he says the burden of paying to treat lung cancer patients often falls on the public. For Focus, I'm John Charlton.